What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play Special Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom Kylan. This is the bonus episode! Uh, apparently, since I beat the game, when you press the start menu, weird noises start to happen. Enough of that crap! Anyways, yeah, in the last episode, we finished up with the game. This is the bonus episode! So let's go take a look at the police station that we haven't done yet. Ooh, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Let's explore here. Some shiny objects for us. Oh, even these make weird noises now. That's really obnoxious and kind of annoying, actually. Okay, at least some of the sound effects still make the correct sound. There's a TV up there. That's neat. Um, this is the robot viewer. Yeah, if you step on it, you can read information about the robots. Bikini bottoms most wanted. Yeah, this is just really displays all the robots. The reason you have I haven't shown this yet is because um, you need to beat the game to be able to see everything on here. Nifty electrical touch attack. Not tall enough to ride uh, most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabid clams. Yep. So these are pretty much more funny than anything else. Oh, that's weird. I've always gone gone left left to right, but no, because we saw the hammer second and then the tartar third. So let's take a look at the hammer. The ham space pause. Mer. The best of meat byproduct attack. Smarter than it looks. Actually, it is pretty smart. I'm not even gonna deny it. Uh, goes well with broccoli and a nice shyon shyonte shante. I believe shante is wine. So that's interesting. Tartar. A candy flying tartar sauce attack. Smells somewhat better than stale fish. I don't think so, actually. I don't know what tartar smells like, but I would imagine not very good. G Love or the glove uh, ha um, has the most vicious smack attack. I love that word, smack attack. A phrase, I guess. Hands down. No. The most vicious smack attack, hands down. Get it? <laughs> Expert foot. Mas mas oh, massage. Mizu Mizu's? What? I thought it'd be massager. But that's not how you spell. No, that's not how you spell massage, though. Massager. Uh, lemon squeezer and does delightful had puppet shows. Well, that was the most complicated one to read so far. Monsoon. Shocking electrical attack. Rather sensitive. Reads poetry. Likes plants and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. Okay. <laughs> he likes poetry, apparently. Sleep. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sleepy time. Mostly harmless. Unless woken. Summer Moody. Likes. Uh, to express himself by blasting everything in sight or finger painting. That's adorable. He doesn't have fingers though. He only has like wrenches for hands. Chuck. It's Chuck. Chuck Norris. The Chuck Norris of all machines, robots. Uh, annoying missile attack. Likes to throw tantrums. Another uh, various military grade ordinance. Not terribly friendly. Have and did any of you guys play the um, the Toy Story 2 game for PC when they're younger? Cause this guy looks like one of the enemies in that game, I think. I don't know. Anyways, the tubelet or tube tubelet, tube tubelet sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah. Comes in threes or in six packs with a coupon. Inexplicable Jello attack. Stays crunchy even in milk. Wow, I'm, I'm glad for that. Slick. I could not figure out this guy's name for the life of me, and it's slick. Of course it is. It's like the Fonz. Disgusting oil blob attack. Doesn't wear underwear or bathe very regularly. Just the kind of bot your mother warned you about, kids. Very scary indeed. Stay far, far away from them. It's the bot bot. I don't think I told you guys this guy's name, but I don't know at what point that we first saw him. Bot bot follows you. Or bot bot. Bot follow you. Go boom. This is just the bot to get your friend. The or to get for the friend you least like. God damn. Like least. Let me start that over. Bomb bot. Bot follow you go boom. This is just the bot to get for the friend you like least. I feel like I was worded awkwardly. Um, the business bot. I don't know these guys. Lemon scented gamma ray attack. Somewhat unpredictable. Uh, borrows money without returning up blasts things at random. You know what? These guys do look like they do lemon flavor. I gotta give it to them. The chomp bot. I got it right. It was chomp. Somewhat unstable critter. Uh, beware her stinky doggy breath. Like to chew toys, random citizens, and mimes. Oh god, I better warn that mime! At the Krusty Krab! And then there's Arf! Those here's wild main marmot packs a 45 caliber cat crusher. It's powerful doghouse made. 
Yeah. There's a mullet too and a mustache. What? It looks like Kenny from The Walking Dead. The video game. Oh, he has a bone in his. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it a satchel, but no, that's not a satchel. Uh, his hoister. Earth dog. Okay, these guys are called Earth dogs. Pesky little critter. Bye for him that fights it. See, whenever I see words like Lil, it immediately puts me in a sour accent. Press a variety of tricks, flashy sponges, chasing squirrels, spontaneously combusts. Okay, I'm back. My audio just crashed and it made me very angry. I was able to save most of it. But it stopped recording right when I got the plankton. Plankton is the sole reason why we couldn't come to the police station before, because he doesn't unlock until after you beat the game, oddly enough. Plankton. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers, uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best! Yeah, so that, that's, that's really it. <laughs> and that's the entire purpose of the train, st or train station, what? Um, please, I'm really glad I didn't have to restart this episode, I would, that would have been mad. Not that I did much, it would have sucked if I, like, beat the game. The fina I'm glad that it didn't happen on the finale and I didn't notice it or something, because that would suck. That would have sucked a lot. I would have been very mad and sad and glad. And Z for xylophone, what? Oh, Z does xylophone is not a Z word, don't, don't even listen to me. Yeah, it's weird, now the shiny objects make weird noises too. Okay, next up, is I'm going to show you guys... You know what? No, we'll do that last. I was gonna show you guys my star bit grinding method. Star bit. I'm still calling them star bits. Uh, actually, I think Plankton says something Maybe different when we talk to him now. I wonder how many days. That, right next to that one. That will be my day. I wonder, I wonder how many days, like, that will be, and I should figure that out, actually. Maybe I'll figure it out and post a little note right here. Or maybe I'm too lazy. It really depends how I feel. You say anything different now I beat the game? Robot is nah, you don't. Okay. Well, since we have enough shiny objects to our bits, let's go over here and do SpongeBob Dream again. Yay! Okay, not really. Let's go to the movie theater, and if we actually read it, it says... Revenge of the Bride of Plankton's other brain. So I guess my best guess is that's a reference to the fact that Plankton said when we defeated when we first defeated um, Robot Bob, let's call him Robot Bob. <laughs> he said, "No, my bride, I'll fix you," or whatever he said. So I'm assuming the revenge of Plankton's robot bride, whatever. Bri play wait, the bride. Okay, let let's read that one more time. The revenge of the bride. Wait, what? Revenge of the bride of Plankton's other brain. Plankton's other brain is robot Plankton. Plankton's pl other, uh, other, uh, other Plankton's brain's bride is robot Bob. So I'm assuming that's the revenge of the robot Bob and robot Plankton. If we talk to this guy now, <coughs> um, hello. Thank you, Mr. Movie Usher guy. Thank you very much. And now I can finally see what this is. I had forgotten what the heck this is, but then I looked it up last night just just to make sure it's like episode worthy. Because I'm unsure if this would be like copywritten, like I don't know, clips from a show or something. But no, what it actually is. This, can you just appear, please? Thank you. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Concept Art. So here's Squidward with rocks. And there's a switch there. And it says Concept Art. So this makes me think. Like that looks like the Chum Bucket, doesn't it? Or maybe maybe there's a future level. Like, you know, the episode where they go to the future? That's what it kind of looks like this might have been. You have to like crush Squidward's tentacles with the rocks or something. That would've been, that's a really neat concept. I get the feeling Squidward was maybe supposed to be a bigger part of this game looking at this picture. I don't freaking know. And Mermaid Doodle Bob. Is that is that supposed to be an evil SpongeBob? Was, was, was that maybe that was supposed to be the original boss we fought in the mermaid the merma uh, mermalair? And then I wonder if they're supposed to pre- I wonder if you're supposed to get a different costume on each level you go into. 
Just a tree, Sandy's tree dome looks like. It's a bit different though. Uh, I guess there's supposed to be more chaos in there. Like, there's sand uh, mountain. That looks pretty normal. There's the freaking squirrel robot Sandy. Yeah, that looks pretty normal. Rock bottom looks really cool. <laughs> robot guy. See, this, this probably was supposed to be a feature level or a prehistoric one, wasn't there? That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, there's supposed to be robot fish citizens too. That were probably really evil. Two blitz. Maybe this was before there was three of them. Maybe there were supposed to be separate entities before. Look, they have little wheels on the bottom of their inner tubes. <coughs> Chuck looks pretty normal. Arf looks pretty normal. Oh, but he's missing his mustache, mullet, his dog cage, his hoister. Yeah. Sleepy time looks a bit different. He looks a lot more stiff here. That's a different robot. Oh my god, it looks like a freaking alien versus predator thing. I've never seen that movie, so I don't know. There's Glove before he got his, like, um, uh, purpleness and greenness to him, I guess. Tartar. That's pretty normal. Hammer. Looks a bit stiff as well. Tiki's. The stone. T oh, no, that's not even a stone tiki. The floating tiki looks really different. The sh tiki looks. And the stone tiki looks pretty normal. Oh, I bet. Oh, that second one's a thunder tiki. That one was really changed. The red definitely looks better because the second the thunder tiki there looks like too much like the stone tiki. All the like the last three tiki's there, they all look like well minus the one with the hearts. They all look like they're just too gray. They look too similar to each other. And then, I wonder if that um, kissy tiki thing would have given you health or something before. The wooden tiki looks pretty similar to what it is. Even the stone tiki looks pretty similar. The sh tiki looks pretty different. And the thunder tiki and the floating tiki looks super different. Who's the who's this guy called again? Crayfish? No, something like that. Robot Patrick, he looks pretty similar. Mr. Krabs. Oh, that's where you can see mini SpongeBob on like the grill right there. What if there's supposed to be a bigger level than the Krusty Krab? Battle for the key bar. Amazing! That's cool, it's like a movie poster. Huh. What is it? Oh, that's the Mermel layer. Looks like the the pinball level thing. Is that what it is? Yeah, because I see- well, it looks like a fan there. That big gigantic ball thing with the marble. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. A mini fish with a gigantic hammer mallet. I wonder if that's supposed to be the original hammer. Probably side of small. There's kelp forest, looks like. What's this? Blue Lagoon? Oh, no, that's kelp forest. You can see on the top there. I'm glad that's what kelp forest didn't look like in the end, because that looks kind of- not too fine. Look at Spongebob with his freaking tongue hanging out. Jellyfish fields, jellyfish rock. I think jellyfish rock was start off pretty early. There's a sun tanning fish right there. You don't sun tan in a park, you silly. I guess you could. Blue Lagoon. Yeah, that was, ch well, that was changed quite a lot. I think for the better. I think Blue Lagoon was one of the better developed le uh, levels. They're all pretty good, but Blue Lagoon sticks out my mind. Looks like Sad Mountain. Maybe Blue Lagoon still? That's definitely the uh, Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Oh, looks like there's supposed to be a pirate battle there or something. Like, mean, considering this all concept art, maybe this was supposed to be stuff in the game. Maybe him fighting a pirate on there was just for looks and wasn't really a plan for the game. That's all really cool. Flying Dutchman's ship again. That was a Flying Dutchman right there. He looks different. Maybe that was it. Maybe that's, maybe that's supposed to be a Flying Dutchman's older evil brother or something. Even though Flying Dutchman is pretty evil. What's this? Oh. Looks like there's a guy in a wheelchair. Or there's people riding in a guy in wheelchairs too slow, and then the robot's about to step on him, and then he zooms forward or something. I don't freaking know. Duplicator chime. That looks really freaking cool. That's a good artist right there. <laughs> uh, Godzilla bots. Kind of. There's, oh, is that the end? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, well, it's the same picture, wasn't it? And then we have... Um, some more prehistoric stuff. Uh, maybe Gulagoon? I don't know what this is. I've seen this picture before, but I have no idea what the heck this is supposed to be. What could it be? I mean, there's a cruise bubble right there. It looks like he's going after a helicopter. There's a gigantic tiki, but I don't know what the heck this is supposed to be. It's like jellyfish fields overlooking the bottom. 
Oh, you know, I bet that was, I bet that was to showcase like that you could see the previous levels, or the main hub of the game from anywhere in the game. That'd be my guess, anyways. Yep, downtown bikini bottom. Looks like robots are supposed to be driving. They're supposed to be driving robots before. That was awesome. Looks like SpongeBob jumping over everything though. There's more Squidward boss battle fight stuff. Looks like this is more into the battle because the rocks are on the ground and his tentacles seem down. There's water all over the place. Is this the beginning now? It is the beginning. Yeah, looks like it'd be the beginning. Huh. That was really cool. Coming soon to a theater near you. This is really cool. I really like this. Aw, oh, there's little kid fish sitting on top of each other. Oh, what? There's a fish in here! You're avoiding me too? Everyone's an asshole in this game. Probably because I cheated. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you guys quickly, even though we're kind of running late in bonus time here. This is supposed to be shorter episodes, not longer episodes, man. Okay, so I guess I just teleport us right here. Do you say anything else? What if I want to watch a movie I haven't seen? Like, can I see Death Fish 2000? Heck Sorry, no. Sir. What about Carp Wars? <gasps> I love no. Carp Wars. No. Nautical Nonsense 23, The Procrastination. That sounds like a porno. Uh, sir, come on break now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's quickly show off my uh, shiny object grinding level. For this, you gotta go to downtown Bikini Bottom and take the take the taxi to Ambush in the Lighthouse. And this is actually from. Hold on, let me look at. Oh, my laptop's locked. Of course it is. Why not? Uh, and now it's not opening. Good lord. Okay, so this is from Multi Classic Gamer. I found this out. You wanna come in here, beat this as quickly as you can. Oh, doesn't really matter if you take damage. For jumping down, the best way to actually do this is looking where the duplicator chons are, and then you just hit it on your way down. And if you do it properly, you don't even have to worry about them spawning any enemies, since they don't spawn any enemies until they're actually down here anyways. Where is it? Ah, uh, there. Oh! If, really, if you wait, if you take too long, then it's... Uh, the platforms do spawn. Really? Two of them spawn? Oh, God! This is the last one yet? Nope. There we go. Uh-huh. Got anything else for- Okay, now they're at the bottom. There's nothing going to hit that. And then wait for everything to spawn. And then first you're going to come over here. Jump up here. And then once things start moving towards you... Oh! Oh, well, did I come on the wrong one? I might have come on the wrong one, actually. It may look like there's no platforms from over here, but no, there actually are. Uh, come over here, maybe? Oh, God. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to get behind the duplicator truck. Oh, really? Please stop. Oh, God. He I'm going to die, aren't I? No, I'm not. Topi were dunk. Okay. Okay, once the robots start, like, coming... Maybe, th maybe this part wasn't necessary. Because, yeah, it seems to be only on this platform where it works, but I thought you had to go to the other platform first to start luring the monsters that way. If you actually stand behind here, as much as it looks like- Oh, that did hit me! I was gonna say, as much as it looks like they can hit you, they can't, but no, that actually hit me. Okay, that can't hit me anymore, and the Tartar can't hit me anymore. And what will happen is all the robots down there will actually start coming to the electricity. And just stand here. You can just put your controller down and go do whatever you want for a few hours, then come back. It took about maybe two hours. I just sat around and did other stuff in the background and just kind of kept an eye on the game just in case. And that's how you grind for star or shiny objects in this game. That's the way I did it. Anyways, there's probably other ways. But like, like I said, there was a dream level, Sandy's level, but that's not automated. And this is, so I gotta say, this is a lot better than sitting and actually playing by grinding for shiny objects. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. In the next episode, in the next bonus episode, I'm going to showcase all the cheats. But besides that, we're pretty much done with this game. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.